So, big veins are too much, you need something smaller. Not a problem. DT just means smoothness, the higher the value, the more choppy the effect will be. Speed is how long the particle takes to get from the camera to the object. The more turbulence, the more messy the designs will get. The higher control spawn, the more subtle and tame the designs of your brush gets. If you lower detect overlap, the designs will overlap like crazy. The higher the fade, the more the ends of the designs will fade out. As usual, I don't really mess with the normal factor. The higher the life, the longer the particles will stay active. Now these next values are easier to see when we change the material to something simple like black and white. And just to help you understand, we're gonna bring all these values to zero. So this is what the brush is really doing behind the scenes. It's made up of X and Y particles. Speed min max just controls how fast those two particles move across the surface. The higher the value, the longer the design get. Now the higher the particle turn speed gets, the more the particles will start to curve and make loop shapes. Negative is clockwise and positive is counterclockwise. Now if you increase the power spiral instead of exploding, it will start to spin like a spiral in a galaxy. And the higher the random direction, the more likely the particles will spin in opposite directions. It is either one or zero. The higher the scaled turb, the more jagged the lines become, and infinity makes the curve travel back and forth in a wave pattern that often heads towards the bottom left corner of the world. Hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.